okay, the lighting is bad. I don't have professional lights. There's nothing I can do about it. I'm sorry. Hey guys, it's Riley and welcome to my channel on this lovely Tuesday. On this Trans Tuesday, I wanted to talk to you guys about internalized transphobia. This video is definitely going to be more directed to people who identify as trans, considering it is internalized transphobia in the trans community. So just letting you guys know that, I think I'm going to hop right into it. The first thing I want to let you know is that a lot of trans people experience internalized transphobia. It's something that society has thrust upon us that being trans is wrong or not real or not valid. And especially during the coming out process, it is perfectly normal to experience a lot of internalized transphobia, and it's okay if that carries on into your transition. As a trans person, I can honestly say I do experience internalized transphobia towards myself and sometimes towards other trans people, and it's just because that's how our brains have been wired. The internalized transphobia is definitely a part of how society tends to treat trans people, and also having internalized transphobia, it's more more a part of self-discovery because I feel like when you think you're trans you're like oh no I might be trans that means this 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 and this is wrong with me and I'm gonna have to deal with this 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 and this and it's a response that you can't really control also I'm noticing the lighting keeps changing and fluctuating I'm so sorry I don't have lights However, experiencing all of this internalized transphobia does not make your identity as trans any less valid. I'm willing to bet that most trans people do experience this internalized transphobia well into their transition, and they're still themselves, they still identify as trans, and that doesn't change just because they occasionally experience some internalized transphobia. Also, it's totally okay if you're still working through it. If you're working through your internalized transphobia, trying to figure out who you are, what you like, what you want to identify as, and you feel this transphobia inside of you, that's okay. Odds are you're gonna feel it for the majority of the rest of your life. Probably not as strong as you feel it now, but it's most likely always going to be there. And it doesn't change the fact that you're trans, and it doesn't change the fact that you are you. Experiencing internalized transphobia is a side effect of how the general population has been taught what trans people are and that they are not okay and that they're not right and that there's something wrong with them. But in reality, that's not the case. So experiencing some level of internalized transphobia is perfectly normal. And it is, like I said, all about a personal journey with yourself. I know my internalized transphobia is a lot less than it was two years ago, and I think it's because I've grown to become more comfortable with myself and with my identity. And it might be the same or different for you. Everybody is different, so everybody experiences the internalized transphobia differently. It can manifest itself in different ways and you just have to find out what way is showing up in your life and how to control or stop it. That's really all I had on the topic of internalized transphobia so I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did make sure you give it a big thumbs up and comment down below what some of your favorite things are that help you stay true to you. If you want you can follow me on all of my social media which is at the Riley Kyle. To keep up with me in real time I am always on Twitter and I am always on Snapchat, so those are the two main places you will get me, as well as Tumblr. Last week I also posted a bunch of vlogs from the time that I was in Florida, and I am back to doing weekly vlogs now, so if you want to, you can go check those out on my side channel. The links to everything will be in the description. Like I said, that's all I have today. I love you guys, and I will see you on Thursday. Bye!